If you own a condo in Singapore, especially one that has been in your portfolio for a while, this video is for you because today we are going to dive into why tracking your property's performance is crucial. And I'll show you how to analyze the data so that you can make smarter real estate decisions. Real life property stories that can teach and inspire you. Hi guys, Gainer here. And if you are someone who is about to make an important property decision, whether it is to buy or sell, then my channel is for you. Because I've written over 600 property case studies and these are my real life encounters that's meant to guide you towards making a smarter decision. And the links are just right below in the description corner. So feel free to check out those case studies. And before we continue with this video, do hit that like subscribe button, especially the notification for more similar videos like this. Now let's be honest, most of us hold on to our condos for years, even decades. But are we really tracking on how our properties are performing over time? Are they appreciating at the rate we expect or are they quietly stagnating? Now this matters because in the property market, there are upswings and downturns. Knowing how your condo fares during these cycles is key to understanding its potential profitability and making informed choices about whether to hold, sell or upgrade. So recently, I shared this post about meeting a family to understand their options. And they own two condos. The first one is West Bay Condominium, which is situated at West Coast Road. Now, to date, it's already 33 years old, with a tenure starting since 1991 and has a total of 318 units. Now, the second condo is Windermere, which is an EC situated at Chua Chu Kang with just minutes to UTMRT. It's already 27 years old, with the lease starting since 1997 and has a total of 395 units. Now, as usual, I'm always curious on how my client's property has been performing over the years. And so I decided to take a further step to analyze it. But before I share my analysis, I just want to know how you guys usually determine a property's performance. So do share with us in the comment section if you have a different method. Now in every uptrend and downtrend, there are always a lowest and highest price per square foot registered. To assess performance, I will look at the lowest PSF point and track how much it increases to the peak before prices starts to dip again. Now this gives us a clear picture of how much value the property gained during the uptrend cycle. So let's look at how both condos perform during these two uptrend cycles which happen between 2008 to 2013 and 2018 to 2024. And if you look at the historical trend of these two condos, you will notice that since the 2008 to 2013 uptrend, West Bay increased by 117% while Windermere increased by 64%. But during the 2018 to 2024 uptrend, West Bay increased by only 40%, while Windermere maintained its growth at 62%. So from the results, it showed that West Bay's growth in the recent uptrend slowed down significantly by more than half, while Windermere maintained a steady growth. And there's also something interesting that I want to point out to highlight the importance of why a project must have a good growth. Now, let's take a look at the historical performance chart of these two projects again. If we zoom into West Bay's condo's previous highest peak in 2013, the average per square foot transacted was $1,090 PSF. Comparing that to the recent highest peak in 2023, the average PSF registered at $1,093 per square foot. Which means owners who bought West Bay during 2013 saw quite limited gains as the growth wasn't strong enough to surpass the previous peak. But this is different from Windermere. In the 2014 peak, the average PSF registered was $600 and $99 per square foot, 
while the recent 2024 peak registered $966 per square foot. So the owners who bought Windermere, even during the 2014 peak, were still promised further growth. So in conclusion, does the age of the property a clear determination on future potential growth? Now I think it depends because of this case study, West Bay is just six years older than Windermere. And I believe that there are other factors to consider in order to understand the full picture. For example, the project's location, the supply and demand in that area, the individuals, condos layout and many others. But what is critical that I want to point out in the video is the importance of having the right data for example, knowing the project's performance history so that we can make the right decision, especially for buyers who wants to select the right property investment and sellers who will know their next step on whether they should cash out or swap for a different property to maintain the growth. Thanks everyone, Gainer from Property Made Simple and I hope you like this video. If you enjoyed this video, remember to hit that like and subscribe button. See you guys in the next video.